The Impact LX's integration with Studio One is seamless and easy to use. Let's take a look and see how the Impact LX will speed up your workflow. Let's start by opening up the mixing console so we can see how the LX gives you control over your mix. I can easily control volume by moving a fader. If I'd like to mute a track, I just hit a fader button. To solo a track, hold down fader button 9 and the track you want to solo. Panning is automatically controlled by using the rotary encoders. Selecting a different track is quick, and Fader 9 will always control the volume for the selected track, so you never lose your place. You can also pull up any inserts that you have on a channel, so you're in complete control of your mix. You can shift the LX's focus over to your insert by hitting the instrument button. It's nice to not have to use your mouse while tweaking effects. You can also switch between multiple inserts on your channel to continue working on your mix. And just as easily as we brought up our insert, we can hide it as well. Okay, so now let's take a look at how the Impact LX makes it easy to control your virtual instrument. We'll select one of our synth tracks, we'll push the instrument button, and then bring up the interface for our virtual instrument. Nice. Yet again, the LX is intuitively mapped out, so there's no fuss. You can control things like the frequency cutoff and resonance, and typically the faders are mapped out to things like amp envelope and filter envelope. The Impact LX makes it really easy to dial in the sound that you want quickly. You can hide the interface for your virtual instrument the same way that you brought it up. Um, actually, uh, hold on for a second. I kind of really like how I was playing with the filter earlier on this instrument. So let's go back up and set a loop and record some automation. I can set my loop starting point and then come right over here and set the end point for my loop. Great, now we're in a loop between bars 17 and 25. So like I said, I kind of want to play with that filter a little bit and record automation. So let's bring up our virtual instrument and we'll go into record mode. Nice. And you can see that the automation has been written in. If for some reason I didn't get it right, it's easy enough to go back and undo. The Impact LX gives you hands-on control over Studio One. You'll be navigating through projects like a pro.